All right, well, we're out on a road. A very ugly, bouncy, corrugated gravel road. It is horrendous. I would say this road is not one of the less traveled roads. I would say this is extremely traveled. I'm not impressed. Look at Alex, he's not impressed at all. Uh, I don't know why we do this, man. Uh, it's rubbish. It'd be a lot easier just to get a hotel room, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe we should go and get a room. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Screw this. All right, I'm out. Let's <laughs> <laughs> come along for the next one. <laughs> I lie, I lie, we totally lie, that's not true, we're gonna stick it out. We're gonna knock some air out of these tires. We're in the we're in the Sue's Sue's bridge area. I'm not gonna tell you exactly where we are. I'm gonna keep that a little bit quiet because um, there's no reason why you guys can't get out here and have a little explore around this area too. But the Blackwood is just over that way. So We'll knock some air out these tyres. We're trying to get to a spot on the river. So we'll see how we go. We finally found somewhere to camp and we are right where we wanted to be on the Blackwood River. Yeah, we're in this lovely little spot here. Uh, there's just, I, uh, yeah. Let's just go have a quick wander. We took a, a tight little track on the way in. The deeper into the bush we got, the more we started to see it. And then we get here to the camp spot and it's everywhere. Yeah, look, it's not nice. Um, it's not nice at all. Everyone's got to start pulling their pulling their heads out of their assholes and start waking up to just how disgusting living campsites like this is. It's just it's everywhere. And it's not a good look. Not a good look at all. I don't know what more it takes to get the message through. It's so simple to take a shovel with you. Dig a hole 15, 30 centimetres deep. Put your paper in the hole with your business. Why does the message not get through, Alex? Laziness. It is laziness. laziness. Yeah, it is. They, they know the message. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then for the rest of people, like for us, that come in behind these people, uh, well, we're probably going to clean it up, aren't we? Mate, I am going to snap two twigs like chopsticks and yep. go around and burn it. Pick it all up and throw it in the fire, get rid of it. Because I'm not grabbing it with my fingers. No. And I'm not putting poopy no. wet wipes in my bin bag either. No, don't want to drive around with that. No. But something, someone's got to do it. So, yeah. Yeah, time to don our capes, right? Yeah. We'll have like, yeah, get our capes out, put something on, a shovel in one hand. And... <laughs> <laughs> uh, final thoughts on that yeah just be aware of it 
if you're a culprit, stop. Mm. If you clean up after these people, fantastic, good on you. Uh, hopefully one day we might see a time when we can go to a campsite and not, not have, to boo, have to see all this stuff. Do the poo paper tweezer trick. Yeah, I'm getting pretty sick of cleaning up after everyone. There's one two metres up a tree over there. I know. Yeah, Someone it's up trees. It's up trees, yeah. So the thing is the animals come through these areas and grab it as well. Mm. Um, and that's, like, that's, they don't know the difference. They got no idea. They catch a scent, they come into the bush and find that stuff. It's just, it's not right. Not right at all. Mm. So until animals learn better and can yeah. clean up after you. Yeah. Clean up after yourself. Yeah, 100%. All right, let's see on that. <laughs> So we've just done a cooking segment. Been doing a bit of filming for Alex so far. I just did a cook up. So I didn't film any of that. You can see all that on Alex's channel. Make sure you go over there and check that out. So right now we're just both tucking into some steak and veggies, aren't we? Yeah. With a bit of bonus garlic bread. Look at that monster. Oh boy. So yeah, we're having quite a good time, aren't we? Yeah, really enjoying ourselves. It's been nice. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see Alex. Eating yep. my steak. Big old chunk of it. It's a <laughs> herb, and, <laughs> herb and garlic cheese baguette. <laughs> you just got to go at it like... <sighs> yeah, it's not really a garlic bread. It's more a, it's mm. more a massive baguette thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I wrapped it in alfoil and buried it in the coals. This is true. Yeah, it was like, like that honey style of cooking where you, yeah, you bury it in the ground yeah. and just have the coals do the cooking. Worked all right. Yeah, it did cooked it in no time. Mm. Alright, that's it for now. Going to get into this tucker. We'll catch you all later. <laughs> Mr. Impressive. Billy's on fire, mate. Yep.
How good? That looks good to me. Champion, thank you, sir. Oh, that's good. Sleep all right last night, Matt? Yeah, pretty good actually. Yeah, it was um, really nice to hear that blackwood trickling away through the night. Yeah. I feel myself starting to get snivelly during that. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking scene, we're on. Not really. <laughs> I'm just showing you a little snippet now. Alex is doing this one. Yep. Meanwhile, I'm just standing in the corner of the frame, just tea bagging. Tea bagging. How good's tea? It's pretty bloody good, man. We had a coffee. We're about to get breakfast on. We're having a tea. All boiled in the billy on yours truly, right here. You get a hash brown. You get a hash brown. Shortcut bacon. This one's just for you, Pete. Real business here. Real bacon. Yeah. Real bacon, boy. <laughs> yeah, the type of bacon where you're paying for actual bacon. Yeah, well, this is it. Yeah. It's going to be a tower. The stacker. What do you reckon? Boss man. Yep. The um, layer of fresh tomato in the mm. middle there. Got all this classic greasy breakfast yeah. food. And then just this little fresh patch. It's nice, isn't it? Makes it pop. Yeah, pop. I don't think I've ever used that word surrounding <laughs> food before, but today I am. You heard it first. Mmm. Oh man. We've had a nice cruisy start to the morning. Got the fire going and threw in the billy on, had a cuppa. We're just doing some filming of my camp set up for Alex now for the the video on his channel. So Alex is just getting some B-roll footage with the swag and few extra little things thought I'd touch in with you and just let you know what's going on we've been watching this um, water level down here on the Blackwood rise it was quite low last night when we got in or yesterday other when we got in and then through the night we started to hear it pick up we both commented on how we heard the water sort of pick up and really start flowing and now looking it's risen well, the, that bank down there that Alex was standing on uh, yesterday afternoon when we got in, that's underwater. That's a few feet underwater. So, interesting. Still rising. So we're packing up now, we've spent the morning, what is it now, it's well after lunch now. It's like 12.30. Yeah, we've spent all morning just getting some filming done on old mate Gus here in the setup. It's been a great morning, just chilling out, a bit of filming, yeah. enjoying the sound of this blackwood behind us. A little bit of pitter patter with the rain coming in and off, uh, in, in and out sorry, on and off, that's the one, on and off. So yeah, anyway. Time to pack and rack. We're slowly pulling down camp. Get ready to hit the road.
fine paper towel being one of my best friends out camping. It's cheap, it's compostable, it breaks down. Um, you go through a lot of it, but because it is compostable and breaks down, it's not it's not like a, a product that is so much bad for being overused for the environment. You can use plenty of it and you're not, not really impacting anything because it just breaks down. And you can just pop it in a bin, nothing of it, or on the fire. Just throw it straight on the fire and burn it. It's a lot easier than having wet tea towels and things like that. Beautiful clear water. It's, it's come up really high yeah. through the night, but um, it's not muddy. It's got a very blue tinge to it too, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's a swimmable temperature. Ooh. Maybe. I'm doing it in a bath. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so much fun, hey? Yeah. But you always want to make sure your chair and your tent's all oh, yeah. packed up because all the fallout <laughs> lands on there. <laughs> the link is dead. Pretty well done for. Yep. That's that fun over.
Isn't that typical? Typical southwest weather turning it on again for us. Yeah. How was that sun this morning? Oh no. I was whinging because there was too much sun and too <laughs> yeah. much contrast and the shots didn't look nice. And there we are. Now here we are airing up in rain. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's finally come in. I think it's going to be a wet drive home too. Yeah, I love driving home. Yeah, I'm not complaining one bit. Well, thanks, man. Thanks for the weekend. Thank you, dude. Great to catch up. Pleasure. Yeah, it's been awesome. I appreciate you getting me out with you so much. It's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's just great to bring creative minds together and just yeah, roll all this cool life. Yeah, I agree. We've had a great Have weekend. A laugh. Yeah. yeah, and bring you guys along with us. Yeah, exactly right. Um, make sure you do get to Alex's channel, Intense. Check out the videos he's done on my camp setup. Mm. We did a couple of other little things as well. and his trip video as well, we've both done trip videos and they're both going to be quite different because yeah. we weren't filming at the same time, so it should be a good time, so make sure you get over there watch his, thanks for watching mine, appreciate it very much, stay safe out there, thanks for watching, bye bye. smooth, crisp taste that can only be obtained from an Australian off-road stubby holder. Get yours now from... Where do you get them, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> you can get them from australianoffroad.bigcartel.com <laughs> What a jerk.